Okay, welcome back to Southern Bell Tarot. This reading is over Miss Dominique Lomax, okay? So before I begin, Tarot is subjective, very subjective. So based upon this reading, I am not saying this is exactly what happened. Rather, this reading is a way to pinpoint the person or persons involved or people close to them to help identify them, okay? So it shouldn't be taken at, as this is the absolute truth. This is a way for um, law enforcement to uh, emphasize theories they may have or open up a new line of questioning into something that I may reveal that they may not know. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it is 100% that way because it is very subjective. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, Miss Lomax was 27 years of age. She's an African-American female, very beautiful from Memphis. She was missing since Labor Day. Her body was recently found <sighs> burned on the side of the road. So I'm going to start in the Kipper Day, which is kind of different for these reasons. Mainly because I can, mainly because I intended to put, keep putting the tarot deck right here, but I kept pulling this instead. So we're calibrating to Miss Lomax's energy. So it was interesting that I opened up the deck to works with animals because I was getting something about a canine officer or a dog trainer as a download as I was shuffling. So down is official person, thoughts, judication, expectation, coffin, wealthy man, distant horizons, false person, and lovers.
Okay, so automatically I'm getting a download. And remember, this is them or people around them. So information technology is out, but it makes income from social media. And then scammer is out. And then finance is out and actor is out. So I would think that they scam people on, they could scam people on social media. And of course, you know, it, may, it involves finances because they're taking people's money and they're acting. So actor or actress. Interesting, then you have justice that comes out. And adjudication is kind of the one card that links to justice. Truck driver, distant horizons could be one. But then I would really look for change or journey. And then doctor, it could be wealthy man or no or no official person. Because official person can be anyone that wears a uniform. And I have no idea why I'm starting to read like this. All right. So we're going to now... I heard one more kipper. Give me a second. Okay. I got main female. Now I need another one. High honor. We got a lot of hierarchy pomp. Wealthy man, high honor, official person. Those are cards that are, you know, very up there. Who's responsible for the murder of Miss Dominique Lomax? And remember, we're getting we're getting energy on them, the people around them. So it doesn't have to. Temperance. King of Wands, a very cruel man, very cruel man, older man, very vindictive, three of Pentacles reverse, high higher font, King of Cups is reversed at the bottom, and then Star is here. Star is representative of healing. It can mean healing. Somebody works in the medical field or um, something. They could be the doctor or hell, they can be the um, receptionist in a doctor's office. It doesn't matter because all of these are coming together this way. And, you know, people in the medical field deal with death a lot. So for now, I'm going to leave it like that, okay? Then adjudication is more of a neutral type of card. Give me a second. I'm going to put them all back together. Um, it, it different it differs from the courthouse card in the Kipper because judication is, you know, you have a third party trying to help two parties work something out. Okay. And then that would relate to justice. And then that also would relate to higher font. The higher font is anything old, any established order like the justice system. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so we got the King of Wands reversed. Temperance was upright, and then you had the Three of Pentacles. Wealthy man could go in between the two of them, because if it's like somebody, like maybe a judge or a lawyer, they could make good money. I guess more so what the motive appears to be what's coming out. This is sound surrounding something with business, because um, I read the Kipper book frequently, and Thoughts, which is a man that's thinking about a woman, listen to this. Now, you would think it would be a romantic thing, but listen to what it says. It says, though it often indicates thinking about love or a person and feeling firmly connected with someone, it seems somewhat platonic and love matters. This card is generally positive. Someone was obsessed with her. It may even indicate the need for contemplation and mediation. Someone she was going through medi some type of mediation with. This her and this person had a, a court case or something, something. We got two men out here. What's interesting is let me go back in a second. It can also describe a thoughtful person. 
The King of Cups would be the person I would think is thoughtful. Cups represent emotions. He's the most emotional king in the deck. And he came out upright, right? There's at least one person that um, had good thoughts about her, who is our main female. This King of Wands is our false person. Distant Horizons is related to truck driver. Expectation and false person and lovers hasn't really come out. I mean, I don't see anything indicating a romantic. Um, it could be that some, it could be a business partner that had romantic interest in her, but she had no interest in that person romantically. It could be a one-sided, you know, type of thing. Three more. The Empress. The Empress embodies every queen in the deck. All four queens. She is the, she's it. That's what this person looked at her as. And this person couldn't let go. The Six of Swords reverse. This person knew, they knew that she didn't want them or didn't want to do business with them or didn't want them romantically but they couldn't let go this person has a lot of money we have the king of pentacles we have three kings out so he probably has brothers or um it could be representative of his friends let me see give me more the ten of wands is reversed i wouldn't be surprised if he knows people in law enforcement i wouldn't at all not saying that they're working with him but simply he just he seems like he has a very high status See, the seven of wands reverse is interesting because the seven, and then look at this, the nine of wands reverse, and then you got the nine of swords reverse, which emphasizes the upright meaning. The seven of wands is the one card that, even though this man is on the hill, pushing, fighting back with his wand against others, uh, we don't necessarily see the people he's fighting. It's very different from the five of wands because the five of wands, you can see the people that that person is fighting. So this could be a perceived um, animosity that he ha thinks that she had towards him. Does that make sense? It could be li literally just a made up in his head because he ruminates over it. Nine of Swords. For some reason, I felt compelled to show you guys the um, Five of Wands card, but then... I land on the Two of Cups reverse, which can indicate a business deal gone on bad. The Four of Wands. Nine of Cups reverse, a very selfish person. Seven of Pentacles, investment, the Emperor, a boss. This person could be a parent. This person didn't want it, something to end. But she definitely did. Okay, she could have lived with this person, lived in the same, or lived in the same apartment complex as this person. She could have at one time worked with this person or for this person. This person has um, a lot of men in his family. I think he has a lot of brothers or a very close knit group of friends. And you like it's like when you see one, you see the other. Um, it seems like all of his friends are well off, and this person may be well off as well. I wouldn't be surprised if this person's parents are married and or maybe somebody may be widowed if one of them is deceased. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this person knows people in law enforcement or people in that wear uniforms to work like a doctor. This person knows very, very important people or the, or, and or this person is an important person. And I would say it's a little, it's a mixture of both. Let me shut my um, door, watch out. So as I was, it's crazy when I get up and do things in the middle of a reading, I get downloads. Um, I'm getting car lot, car owner, like car dealership. And the only thing left on the table is truck driver. I didn't even remember what car was left. Okay. Spirit, can you tell us more? And specifically, you know, let's get more to the motive 
the motivating reason reason for the murder. The Six of Pentacles. After all I done did for you, this person has a, a long history of domestic violence. He's dated a lot of beautiful women and he's beat them up. He's definitely in a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, possibly, or has it heavy in his chart. This person feels like she owed him something. So it's interesting. You got the Five of Pentacles and then the Six of Pentacles, you know. This person almost gets mad when people don't ask him for help. And they have the Empress reversed at the bottom. My God. Because I did, I read up on this card in a new deck I got, the book. And it said, you know, you have a couple that's out here in the cold. But if they just look over, you know, they could go and maybe get help from that church from and get warmth on the inside. This person likes for people to depend on him or her. And if I'm using... Three of Cups reversed. It's interesting, but he's a super cheater. Always a, a stalking type of energy. Uh, heavily stalks people on social media. Ten of, see, Ten of Pentacles reversed. The Fool is out here. The Five of Wands is here. Now the King of Cups is reversed, and the Ace of Cups is reversed, and then the Moon is here. And then the Seven of Swords. The, oh my gosh. Let's keep going. Um, it, Justice is reversed. There's this energy of, and then the stars reversed. And then here's that nine of swords reversed. And then now the nine of wands is upright. Her mom is not going to give up until her job, her daughter gets justice. And I, I, I understand completely. Okay. There... You know what? Is justice out reversed because every time I see justice, judication, um, those type of cards, official person, it bothers me. The six of pentacles is here again. This person may um, donate to uh, candidates running for office. This person may have donated to judges running for office, their campaigns. This person may own a company that contracts with uh, the justice system. So they, and, th and when you think of cars, I would think so. You know, when police um, departments buy cars, they got to get them wrapped and everything with their um, stuff on it, you know, like for Memphis, Memphis Police Department, that type of thing. Mm. This partner, this, I was going to say this, I was about to say this person, but this, she, this, she may have partnered with this person in something or, um, this person may, uh, consider themselves a philanthropist and they may very much so may be. Interesting. Because this, this, I've felt fallen in love with this book since I've gotten this deck. So listen to their take on the Six of Pentacles. They say, two beggars are seen receiving money from a wealthy merchant who holds balancing scales as if to measure out his good deeds. Yeah, this is someone who does good things, but they do it for clout. Um, is charity given from the heart or is it performed with a sense of having power and control over the less fortunate? Is charity given from the heart or is it um, done with, or is it performed with having a sense of power and control over the less fortunate? Interesting. The city in the background implies wealth and commerce. The posture of the character characters implies hierarchy. That's interesting because I'm pretty sure I used hierarchy earlier when I was talking and I rarely use that. This person knows somebody within the Memphis Police Department, city of Memphis, Shelby County, something. I'm not saying they're helping them um, elude justice. I'm saying that this person has deep connections. And when I get into this deck, I wouldn't be surprised if asked for assistance from a federal law enforcement agency comes out. You know why? Because it, it looks like there need, may need to be an additional um, 
body investigating this because it is a significant conflict of interest. And this may not be this person. This could be this person being related to somebody like that. That makes sense? The Empress is reversed. Old money. There's something about cars, y'all. I, I swear. Knight of Wands reversed is a very, an aggr a very aggressive energy. Five of Cups is here. This person, if this person pressed charges against someone in the past, they lied. And it, it's like they're, what am I looking for? Their um, connections got that person convicted. In the sense that, like, they believe this person over the other, the defendant, because it was that person, like, you know, the status. This is somebody you wouldn't want to fuck with. That's a better way to put it. You wouldn't want to be enemy, have, um, have this person as an enemy. Or me as an enemy, in case anybody get any ideas. <laughs> the emperor is reversed. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, corruption. In the justice system. What the fuck is going on here? Temperance reversed. Unbalanced. The scales of justice are not balanced. King of Pentacles the tower come on now y'all come on now it's like you you purposely ain't working to try to figure out what's uh, what's going on now high priestess reversed cherry upright i cannot wait to see what comes out like, let's 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 clear the let's clear the table for this I wouldn't be surprised if um, asked for assistance from a federal law enforcement agency comes out. I wouldn't be surprised if law enforcement is not investigating um, all possible leads. Look at this, the King of Swords. What do I say about the King of Swords in my murder mystery readings? This is the person that can get away with murder. I wouldn't be surprised if um, this person is a well-known member of the community comes out. I wouldn't be surprised if um, it's a lot of cards I could see coming out related to this. Um... Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if the perpetrator has connections with inside inside of the investigating agency comes out. More than one person is involved, but the perp acted alone, but received assistance after the crime. Someone helped this person cover it up. Sex crime is here. Interesting. The perpetrator stalked the victim prior to the crime. The victim didn't know they were being stalked. Corruption, political. Look at this. What the fuck is going on? The perpetrator is not known to law enforcement. So in it, this gives the energy of they know somebody in law enforcement, but they may not, they as in law enforcement may not be enmeshed in it. They may really be, I still think it should be somebody, it should be a, a, a why is the suspect is under the age of 18? Blunt force trauma. The victim was drugged. A closer examination of the victim's financial and business dealings will reveal useful information. Pedophile is here, and I'm not talking about her. Mm. This person could have committed a crime when they were under age 18, but or they could be under age 18. I don't know. Um, let me see. This crime will be solved quickly. Perpetrator is hiding in plain sight. Ooh, ow. This says the perpetrator is a family member. Remember, everything that comes down doesn't necessarily mean suicide is here. Ooh, serial killer. Evidence may be on social media is out. And then the perpetrator is the current or former lover. And then it's interesting. The perpetrator has killed before it's sticking, it's sticking out. This person killed somebody when they were under age 18. Probably two people because I think you need three bodies to be a serial killer. Something like that.
come back to that bed. We have kitchen is here. Candlestick, blunt force trauma, a hard object. Cause you know, blunt force trauma came out with that. Mrs. Peacock, she's out twice. She's a socialite with three husbands who died mysteriously. What's on her mind? Marriage, murder, or, or both? A socialite with three husbands. Hmm. We have study and then dining room. And it's interesting because Professor Plum was at the bottom and I felt to take him, but I didn't. He's a fearless archaeologist with a thirst for adventure and a sudden lack of funding. Now it's starting. I don't want to get too off the topic. Billard room. Evidence is in the dining room for sure. For sure. Somebody's dining room. Or a billard room. And it's something that could be used as, um, you know, for blunt, blunt force. Like a canister. Okay, so we're gonna dial back in to this deck and see if anything comes down again. And doubles are just cards that come down again. We have buried right here. I think it's the energy of someone owning a funeral home. Someone assisted the part with covering their tracks after the crime. I'm not gonna accept this one because we've already. But it's strangulation with the object. The perp attended school with the victim. Murder for hire. So. A love triangle is involved. Mrs. Peacock has three husbands. The perp resides in the area the crime was committed, but the, where the body was found. Interesting. Perp is not known in law enforcement. The person, perp stalked the victim. L literally, the same cards have come down again. And then pedophile is here at the bottom again. This is crazy. Never seen nothing like it. Perp wanted to collect the victim's life insurance policy or assets. Perp has been interviewed by police. It could be multiple people. See, because someone assisted that person. Because if you assisted after the crime, you're just as guilty. So they are a perpetrator. The crime was committed to cover up for a previous crime committed by the perp. Now, what crime that was, I do not know. Close examination of the victim's phone records may provide useful information. There's evidence in the vehicle, and that's the second time I've seen that come out. DNA evidence may be available. That's what they're saying. A close examination of the victim's life is needed to uncover useful information. And then look, I've split the deck, and evidence may be on social media. Okay. Purpose of form, current or former lover. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. What evidence may be on social media? What evidence may be on social media? What evidence may be on social media? What evidence? The Empress is reversed. The Emperor is reversed. She may have a picture with this person. The Six of Pentacles is reversed. Or pictures with this person doing something um, like philanthropy. The Three of Pentacles is reversed. The Five of Pentacles, yep. That's exactly what this is. What's this? That's a bunch of them. Queen of Cups is here. King of Cups reversed. There is this energy of a couple or someone who wanted to be a couple with her. I'm just, I'm leaving it at that. This person wanted them to be a power couple. The emperor and the empress, the highest of the high, the emperors, all the kings in the deck. 
if there's evidence on social media, I would think it like it would be them doing something um, with philanthropy. I said that. Or this person giving her a big gift or gifting her with something. Um, <clears throat> or it could even be this person trying to reach out through social media where people can see it like on her timeline to try to talk to her because they are not talking, something like that. Um, why is the love triangle was involved here? Somebody couldn't let go. It wasn't a love triangle. It's a, it's a lover that couldn't let go. Six of Pentacles is reversed. This Six of Pentacles won't, won't stop. Eight of Pentacles is here. So I was working on trying to get her back, but it was disastrous. It wasn't working. No matter what they offered, mm -mm, she wouldn't accept it. And because of that, they may have killed her. The Ten of Swords is the one card we say represents literal death. Ace of Swords is reversed. This person, and then Three of Swords, Heartbreak. Two of Pentacles reversed. This person is the type of person, and then Ace of Cups is reversed, that I think would turn themselves in out of guilt. I think they feel very bad for what they've done. I do. I, I, I yeah. I definitely think that they feel an intense amount of remorse. And it's crazy because, like, I think they haven't, um connections in law enforcement but i think none of those cards coming out was a way for spirit to let us know that it is safe for the police to continue as they have been but just be mindful to the family that he may know people in the police department so if you feel like something ain't being done right you know you gotta you gotta speak up no offense to mpd but you know you gotta watch everybody these days Maybe a Taurus here. Tell me something I haven't seen or something to tie this all together, please. Eight of Pentacles is reversed. Four of Swords is. Will of Fortune is reversed. Yeah. This is. Look, Two of Cups is reversed. Um, the Fool reversed. Knight of Cups invert. Upright. King of Wands reversed. To the Empress reversed. To the Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is someone who's mad that she wouldn't accept the love offer and not wouldn't accept the new beginning. The Wheel of Fortune reversed definitely is the energy of someone trying to go back to an ex. Okay? And she just wasn't. And look, the King of Pentacles is reversed. Judgment is reversed. I mean, this is re repeating energy. Uh, Three of Cups reversed. This is third party energy. Oh, wow. That was the Seven of Cups, which can sometimes indicate someone with a mental illness. No people who mental, have mental illnesses are not more, you know, likely to commit a crime, but it's just a trait of the perpetrator, okay? Give me some descriptive characteristics of the perpetrator. Um, they're struggling financially, but on the outside, you wouldn't think that. They have siblings, a lot of siblings. And remember, they're all boys, tall. They may have been born in the winter time. Definitely could be a Capricorn. Possibly owns a home or owns homes. And then short is here. College educated. Yeah, I'm getting that. Trade school. Yep. This is he. This person comes from a well-to-do family. Um, like it's a lot of siblings, but they all have done pretty well. It, whether they went to school or started their own business, whether they got a four-year degree or went to a trade school or shit, just started their own business, they've done well. Um. Ages 25 to 35, they have dimples. So if they have dimples, everybody got dimples. If your parent has dimples, all, you and all your siblings should have dimples. So if you don't have dimples, somebody need to um, have some explaining to do. Messy came out again. Lives near you is here. Um, this person is very attractive. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Getting over a heartbreak. They have tattoos. She may have met them through a friend and they drive a luxury vehicle. She may have met him on an uh, online dating app. Bumble is what I'm hearing. But more than anything, Spirit wants us to know that this person is struggling financially. And then when I, I'm about to put these cards up, but you see it's split classmate. Um, so that could be high school or um, any higher education that she's received. 
where she may have met this person. She didn't necessarily have to have class with them, but they could have just been, you know, in the same class of students at the same time at whatever university or school they were at. So I hope you all enjoyed this reading. I hope this is helpful to the family. Um, my condolences on the loss of your beautiful Dominique. Uh, this definitely was not necessary. And this goes back to um, impulse control, you know, people, people being able to manage their emotions. Um, and I love you guys until next time.